In our quadratic functions course, we must learn how to graph a parabola. The next step is how to find the mirror point, the point symmetrical to the y-intercept. This is what example one looks like before we find our mirror point. To find the mirror point, the point symmetrical to the y-intercept, we must know that the y-coordinate of the mirror point will be the same as the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. Our y-intercept's y-coordinate is negative 1, so the mirror point's y-coordinate is negative 1. The x-coordinate of the mirror point is double the x-coordinate of the vertex. Our vertex is 3 quarters, and 2 times 3 quarters is 3 halves, or 1 and a half. These are the coordinates of our mirror point, and I will graph them now. 1 and a half is here, and negative 1 is here, so our mirror point is right here. And we can see that the mirror point is symmetrical across the mirror that is created by our axis of symmetry to the y-intercept. This is what example one looks like after we find the mirror point. This is what example two looks like before we find our mirror point. We need to find the point symmetrical to the y-intercept. The point symmetrical to the y-intercept will always have the same y-coordinate as the y-intercept. Our y-coordinate of our y-intercept is negative 2, so the mirror point will also have a y of negative 2. The x-coordinate of the mirror point is always double the x-coordinate of the vertex. 5 fourths times 2 is 5 halves, so our mirror point's x-coordinate is 5 halves. This is in the table. Let's get it on the graph. 5 halves is here, negative 2 is here, this is how you find the point symmetrical to the y-intercept. This is what example 2 looks like after we find our mirror point. This is what example 3 looks like before we find our mirror point. Let's find the mirror point for example 3. To find the mirror point, you need to know the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, which is 4. So the y-coordinate of your mirror point will also be 4. And you need to double the x-coordinate of the vertex. Double 1 half is 1, so the mirror point is 1, 4. Let's put this in the table and on the graph. One four will be here. This is how you graph the mirror point for example three. This is what example three looks like after finding the mirror point. This is what example four looks like before we find our mirror point. To find the mirror point for example 4, I need to know that the mirror point's x-coordinate will be double the x-coordinate of the vertex. Double 2 is 4. And the y-coordinate of the mirror point will be the same as the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, negative 4. So my mirror point is 4, negative 4. Let's put it on the graph. You can see that this point makes a mirror image to the y-intercept across the mirror that is created by the axis of symmetry. This is what example 4 looks like after finding the mirror point. Be sure to watch the next video in the process of graphing a parabola. Finding the roots, or the x-intercepts, or the zeros.